the best. All right. You're good to go. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Good evening. My name is Renee. Welcome to Battle of the Brushes. We're joined with me, Marielle. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, Marielle. Um, we are with Motives Cosmetics. Um, I myself have been a beauty advisor and skincare consultant um, for, I think, going on 13 years now. Crazy. Um, just absolutely love it. Um, and I'm so excited to be here and just play with makeup. Oh, that's so Great awesome. Time. Yeah, I feel like having that type of experience is going to really play into today's looks. I've been in um, Motive's Beauty Advisor for about 10 years as well. Um, and I have a background in visual merchandising and, and all that art stuff. So makeup's really fun to play with. And I started with paint first. So this is kind of like very similar. <laughs> I love that. I do not have as like artsy of a career, I feel like. <laughs> But I think that that's so interesting because I I work more corporate marketing business side of things. So I use makeup as like a fun way to express myself. So it really doesn't matter, right? What you do. Yeah. We're just here to play with colors. I love doing that. All right. What are we playing today with today? We're focusing on the new Moments collection, um, specifically the Moments palette, pressed pigments palette. And then we have the three-in-one cream tints. Do you want to show them the palette? I got some of the tints. How the Moments Modus palette looks like. One of my favorite things about these cream tints is that it comes with all four in yeah. one container. So you don't have to worry about choosing colors or prioritizing your payment or your purchase or anything like that. It is super simple. You get all four, which is fantastic. You have to play with all of them. I like how you can see through the bottle as well. So you're not digging through your bag, and opening each <laughs> one. And for like scale sake, it's the size of my palm. And yeah. I pretty have a small hand. So this is pretty cool to put in your back pocket or or to hide if you need to apply the makeup. <laughs> Just like picture like, on the subway or something. Yeah. <laughs> like you're mm -hmm. reading a book. <laughs> I love That's it. Great. I'm so excited. Yes. Um, I specifically love these three-in-one cream tints. I think this is what I'm going to start with today um, because I, my daily look is probably like a no makeup, makeup, clean look, super easy. I love monochromatic looks. Um, and this is probably my current favorite product to do that. Um, and I, I, I've done it with all of the colors. Um, they're super like pigmented and creamy, but they're not too scary, right? Like I, you're going to be playing with the rose today and it looks kind of scary. It looks super yeah. red, but when you, when you put it on your skin and I'm, they're going to be able to see, like it blends really nicely. So, um, that's where I'm going to start. Let's, let's, uh, let's get started. We can jump right in. I'm actually going to do the opposite. I'm going to do more of like a really bold in your face uh, color look, something similar to my shirt. And I think that's why it'll be a little bit more mood boosting. And I think mm -hmm. makeup is really fun to play with, especially if you're not feeling in the mood some days when we're always inside or after work, you just want to put something on to boost your mood. So mm -hmm. I'm going to go in as well. Um, are you starting with the tint or are you doing an eye? I like to start with the tint because typically with makeup application, we like to do creams on creams and then powders on powders. So I did some foundation before I logged on. And so I'm just going to layer on the, the tints and I might use it as a bit of an eye base as well. Um, we'll see what happens. I haven't really decided where I'm going, but if anybody has any preferences of colors they want to see, let me know. I will incorporate that. Yes. Let's and as well as any questions you have as well, pop them in the chat because we want this to be as engaging as possible too. I'm going to use this little mirror, which is really cute. So you don't have to use another mirror <laughs> just to curl my lashes first because my lashes go straight down. Right, right. Ugh, yes. And then I'm going to use a Motives Coal Liner. Just you can see this pink is just blending out so easily. And I'm using bubble gum. Um, I have fair skin and a lot of pink undertones and I love just kind of how pink and purpley this is. Um, and I hope that it shows up on camera as beautifully as it does in person, but it's just the perfect, like flush, but like fun pink, I like tones to it. I like it a lot. Is that the, um, the black coal eyeliner? This is the coffee one. Oh, the coffee. That's the brown tone, yeah. Nice, deep brown. 
So I'm just tight lining so it makes it look like I have a lot of eyelashes. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the old, uh, the old eyelash trick. No, it's a struggle out here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you can see this bubble gum, like it looks, this isn't as scary as the red, you know, it's a bit more toned down. Uh, but you can see the clear difference of how pink it was when I put it on my skin and then just blending it out gives that nice flush look. You can see a bit of the illumination from my ring light <laughs> popping and picking that up off the cheekbone. So like instant lift. Okay. You going in with an eye base? Yeah, just to make can it. I do that too. Thick. Yeah. I love this eye base. I've been using it for a very long time and it still looks like so it's brand new. The littlest bit goes the longest way, right? Makes it just pop off the eyelid. Oh, Cheryl Brown, looking forward to it. Thank you. If there's any questions that you have, colors that you specifically want us to feature or anything like that, please let us know. We'll be happy to do so. Oh, that's great. Yeah, share this link out. Super casual. It's just, you know, I just wrapped up work at six. I'm on the East Coast. So that was 30 minutes ago. So for me, it's like, just get out of work. And this is like playtime. Makeup is just like, yeah, like it releases the inner child spirit. It's <laughs> just have some fun. All right. Tell me what you're doing, Mario. Okay. So I'm using Sobe. Shout out to Renee for <laughs> telling me how to pronounce this. I'm using Sylvie just in the crease for a little subtle look, even though it's not going to be subtle. You just want to <laughs> pretend it is subtle. <laughs> I have like really hooded eyes. So I like to go in with Sylvie or any, you know, matte brown shade um, to just kind of give me that bit of a definition, a little yeah. bit of lift in my eye because my eyelids can look so heavy. I love that you can like shape it and even if you want to go for a more um, everyday look, you can just pop this on very simply and then go out the door. Yes. You don't need all the colors, but if you ever feel like it. Now, I think this is honestly like the perfect palette because the pops of color are so fun. And like, I live for coral and pink <laughs> tones. I think they are like my bread and butter. I yeah. always go for them. But the fact that there's this matte brown shade in here, Sobe, the one that you're using, I'm about to pop it on as well. It just, it makes it, it feels complete because it is so small, is so travel friendly, but if it didn't have one of those like matte shades, it would feel like you would need to bring something else, but now you don't, you can use it for every look. I agree. Especially everyone is urging or wanting to travel. This is an easy palette to just pop in to your carry on. For your travel moments. <laughs> ding, ding, oh, ding. Yeah. <laughs> me while I was like, huh? We get a point every time we work in the uh, <laughs> the moment uh, lingo into. You need a counter to count how many times it's the moments. <laughs> right now is a rose moment. I'm making it, mm. I am making a red coral type of look on my eyelids. So I'm using this on top of the eye base. Look how beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm, right? I just have to blend it. It's, it looks <laughs> right now. And it's, you know, it's, if you, it's buildable, right? We kind of said that already, but the fact that it goes on pigmented, you can blend it out if you need to be. So it doesn't have to be so scary, but then you can always do that. Yeah. Um, Marielle, what did you use uh, to add lashes at first? Or did you add lashes? You just curled your lashes. I just curled my lashes. I curled my lashes first, just so I can tight line underneath. Um, if my lashes aren't curled in the beginning, I find that some people curl in between. I are afterwards, sorry. If I don't curl my lashes, I won't be able to see like the tight line. Yeah. Got it. But I think that's the best part about applying makeup. You can start in however, whatever step is there for you. Yes. Like I went to my cheeks first. I don't know why it called to me. Yeah. It's cute. Some people do eyes first. Some people do eyes last. And you can already see just with that Sobe on the outer corner, just to give a little bit more definition and lift up onto the eye. I only did my right eye first. I didn't do my left. So you can see that change right away. Do you use a brush or your finger to blend in the tints? I have used my finger to blend in the tints. Usually my everyday look um, with the no makeup makeup clean look that I was saying, 
is uh -huh. I'll just pick one of these and I'll go all over. I'll put some on my cheeks, on the tip of my nose, on my eyes, and then on my lips. And I screw the top, I put it away, and then I dab with my fingers and I sit down on my computer and I'm ready for my day. As quickly and easy as possible. Sometimes I'll do my brows, sometimes I'll just pull spoolie through them. Sometimes I'll layer it with mascara, um, but honestly, it's as quick and easy. They're super and, forgiving as well. So yes. if you like, do this by accident, <laughs> you can just <laughs> blend it out and say you did on purpose. Exactly. It looks nice. Yeah, super forgiving. <laughs> great for all ages, great for summer. <laughs> Here we go. Speaking of summer, this these palettes are only for summertime season, or I think we'll have it for a while. Yeah, limited limited release, right? So, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you There's hear that? <laughs> extra, extra. Read all about the moments. <laughs> yeah, once they're gone, they're gone. Um, and yeah, so you definitely want to hop on this ASAP. Tis the season. Yes. I'm looking at this beautiful pink color, Aurora. Can you show them what Aurora looks like? Yeah, Aurora is Yeah, there. the top right, yes. Uh -oh. What am I gonna do with it? Let's see. I think I'm gonna pop this on like the inner corner, give myself some lift. Yeah, let's do it. See, this is my playtime, right? I just got out of work and then I'm just being able to be creative. Me too. I was actually just wearing my pajamas <laughs> two minutes ago. <laughs> that work from home life is amazing or days off. So where are you going to wear this look after you're all done? I think that I'm going to go to the five-star restaurant, AKA my living room. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Any plans tonight? With this look, I would take this to a carnival. I would take this to a caravana. I would take this to a cookout. I would go roller skating. All of those things. <laughs> Draw but, in the attention. Yes. In the best ways. But I'm probably going to sit on my couch and watch Netflix. <laughs> yes. Here for that, honestly. Good Wednesday vibes. Yes. But yeah, you can, I mean, Makeup is just an expression of who we are. And I'm a big fan of coloring outside the lines, breaking down rules, not worrying about which colors go with which skin tones or what somebody might think if they saw me wearing something like that or whatever. Do it for you. Uh, because honestly, if you feel like you can rock it and it is lifting your spirit and filling your soul, then that is all the green light you need to go do whatever activity you want in it. You should be a mantra on, on its own. You should like print out every vibe that you're feeling. And then I'm going to post it. On social media. I'm picturing it like on a shirt, but it's just like the longest sentence ever. It's like a paragraph. <laughs> so I applied both the tint and also sizzle with the same finger, my ring finger, because it's around my eye. So you want to be gentle. Mm -hmm. um, but it's super easy to blend and you can see it's not really a true coral. If I mix it with rose, it becomes more of like a red coral. Mm -hmm. So you can really change the colors if you're using the tints or you're using um, the palette. Love it. What am I doing? Okay. I'm going to go in with heat, which is a shimmery neutral kind of has like some peach. Do you, Marielle, Marielle, would you mind showing them? Um, yeah. heat. Oh, I love that. Yeah, in the top left. Yeah. yeah. It's so thank good. You, thank you. And I'm just going to pop that right on the lid. I think my light's a little too bright. My contrast is getting a little messed up. But I have a uh, pink in my inner corner. And then I'm going to put the heat on the lid right in the middle. going to grab a makeup wipe to clean. What are we cleaning? Uh, the corner of my eye, the outer corner of my eye. <laughs> I'm hitting the eyeliner. But it's giving okay. it some lift. Oh, yeah. Some drama. <laughs> this is the perfect reminder, though, like, 
you can clean up as you go. And if you want to like sharpen that edge, you know, this oh, yeah. the edge of the uh, edge of the eye, you can create that. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be perfect right away. You can just easily, you can simply go like this if you like. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to make it super easy. Oh, really, I love the pink. Yeah. It's so fun. So I'm using Sobe again on my outer corner. So I'm just using two colors the palette, and it's already giving dimension, different colors. I'm gonna tight line as well. Oh yeah. It's interesting that you did that first. So it's so interesting. I would never think to apply eyeliner. I know you just tight lined, but I would never think to apply eyeliner before my eyeshadow. Yeah, my special eyes. <laughs> my special <laughs> eyes. <laughs> And I'm using uh, the Kohl eyeliner in Onyx. This is the black one. Yeah, true black. So who has used this? I have my eyes on chat too. I'd love to hear your experiences. Do you have any favorite colors or techniques? Share them love to hear. I'm going to throw some of this bubble gum on my lips too. Oh yeah. So Cheryl, tight lining is when you're going in very tightly, very closely with um, typically your pencil, but you could use maybe a gel as well. I would not recommend doing this with a liquid. Um, but I go underneath my lashes. So I kind of go really tight underneath my lashes. So this is tight lining. You can also tight line your lower lash line and that would be in the water line. I'm not going to do it because it's not the look that I'm going for, but you can tight line top or bottom like so. Was that helpful? Well, thank you. All right, so bubble gum. Where am I now? I just like, I love the pink. I never was a pink person. I'm a very not girly girly, but girly girly, girly girl. But the pink, I don't know. Something with like picking out a couple of core colors that, uh, are just easy for me to wear, then go into it. Like that song, I like pink, pink. <laughs> <laughs> I was like putting on lipstick and trying not to laugh. I'm like, don't move your lips. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep saying it until you laugh. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> you have to hold your eyelid up to tight line. That's too funny. Oh my gosh. I have to do that too. Whoever said that. Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think it has anything to do with age. Yeah. I would have to push like what you can do instead of like looking up and mm -hmm. push a little bit into your eyelid and then you can see where to tight line. The lips forward. Wow. Yeah, forward. You don't even have to push that hard. You just push a little bit. I like, like to live. <laughs> I like to live dangerously and I just shove my pencil right up in there. Like what? I don't even touch my eye. <laughs> so I was a, a cheerleader back in high school and I've had several no. years of having to do my makeup on a bus, like on the way to no. football games and having to tight line while you're on a bus, that is like Russian roulette. Oh no. This is really coming together. This is so fun. The good thing about our coal eyeliners, I know we're focusing on the moments palette, but with the coal eyeliners, you actually don't have to like heat them up. And this is for back in the day when you had to heat up your eyeliners with mm -hmm. a lighter and then put them onto your eye. Yep. The things our we do. The you know. things we do. Ridiculous. Uh, these are, so these are pressed pigments, I will say, you know, so they're not, you don't have to just use them with your eyes. So I'm actually going to go in with my fan brush that I like to use for highlights. And I'm gonna use the same pink that I used in my inner corner. Uh, the pink's called Aurora. And I'm just gonna feather this onto my cheek a bit as well. I feel like I always have to do a little bit more pigment when I'm in front of lights, but let's see what happens. 
yeah, in person, it's the color payoff is, is there already. Yes. <laughs> it's good. Okay. So I'm, I'm seeing folks. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, I've seen folks um, use these as eyeliners uh, or any other, uh, I don't know, any way you could use them. They're pressed pigments. But if you have an angled brush and maybe some 10 years younger setting spray, and then just go into the pigment directly with that, and then you can use it as a liner. You can do it underneath your lash line. You can do it on top. The possibilities are endless. My cousin um, actually plays with really bright colors, and I think it would be a really great way to to play with it. But he took some colors and he put it in his eyebrows. Oh, you know what? So I ones. Oh, I dye my hair every color under the sun. I've been full rainbow and every every <laughs> color that exists. But when I have done that. I never color my eyebrows. I always keep them kind of, this is kind of my natural color. Even this, right. isn't, this isn't my natural. Um, but yeah, I have done that where I've made them purple or pink or orange to match. Just, I think it's, I don't know. It's fun. It's kind of futuristic, maybe a little bit, but. Yeah. And you actually don't have to dye them. <laughs> exactly. You don't have to commit that much. You can just have them green one day or brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This pink on the cheeks is sending me. It's pretty. I guess you going. Yeah. I'm going to take heat and I'll use it on my inner corner and just a little bit on the set, like corner of the lid as well to bring some light. I love, I mean, <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous girls use lots and lots of blush um, or press <laughs> pigments in the motives in the moments palette. Uh, but I love on the nose too. That's one of my favorite uh -huh. locations. So you're blushing everywhere. I, I blush everywhere. <laughs> Let's see what other colors we have. Okay, so I'm not going for a natural look today, but I do want to let people see some of these colors. So I'm just going to swatch them maybe on my hand or on my arm. Um, but I did a really fun neutral look that was very bronze goddess, if you will. And sugar plum is so good for that. Um, you can see oh, yes. very much in this kind of, uh, what is the base of this? Maybe like a maroon brown. There is some like red into it, um, but it's so good for those neutral looks. Like, hello, that pigment's crazy. Right? But it doesn't have to be scary. Because you can just. Look pretty. Yeah. I should swatch them for the palette. And that just blends out so nicely to give you that luminous glow with like, just that bronze undertones. <laughs> you okay over there, Ariel? Hello, Renee. Let's do the same. <laughs> We're going to take all these colors and quickly swatch them because it doesn't take forever. Oh, pretty. Hey, go. Heather. Nice to see you. How have you been? Pretty. Uh, so what was that? That was sugar plum. Oh my gosh. Marielle, look at those. So pretty. So we have three like shimmers with heat, Aurora and sizzle. And then Sobe is that brown. All right, let's go into sorbet. I love this one is probably my most used and I didn't use it in this uh, broadcast, but this like peach really neutral. It it's just, it goes good with all skin tones, um, but I don't know. I love it on mine. Just blends out so perfectly. No, look at that. And the monochromatic looks are, first of all, everything. <laughs> Stylistically wise and trend wise, you see them everywhere, which is like, what a time to be alive where I can just put one product on four parts of my face in the of the day. This is the bubble gum that I'm wearing off on my cheeks and my lips. Okay. And I am done with my eyes. Ooh, girl, looking gorgeous out here. Thanks. So are you? Are yes. you done? You're done, aren't you? I think I'm done. Okay. I, mean, I could put mascara on, but I'm like low effort behind my looks. 
Look at you two rock stars. Wow. Thanks, guys, for all the love. And I'm ready to go. <laughs> ready to go roller skating in the park. <laughs> I love that that rose, that rose red, coral red. It's like a warm summer red. It's yes. delicious. Did you do mascara? Did I miss that? Oh, I didn't do mascara yet. Okay. I'm going to put on some mascara. I changed my mind. So I use the Fiber Lush every day. Can you hear that patting? <laughs> pat, pat, pat. That's in the morning. Stay youthful, glowing. Yes. So the Fiber Lush, I mean, we have a bunch of different mascaras, so go with whatever you want. The reason I love it is because it's like a two-in-one lash extension process. It distributes fibers and deposits color all in one application. I call them my Vava Voom lashes. Oh, I mean, let's just look at this eye Ooh. versus this eye. Hello? You'll never use another mascara ever again, I guarantee it. What's the best way to apply the fiber lash? Great question, Cheryl. Um, well, first of all, do not pump your wand. I just give it a swirl and then pull out the wand slowly. Um, I like to start at kind of the base of my lash and then kind of jiggle it left and right, back and forth while I rotate it through. So look something like that. Do we do crazy faces when we put on mascara? Do we do crazy faces? Sometimes at I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. I don't think opening your mouth makes your lashes like. <laughs> right. We have other muscles to do that. Like we don't have to do both. We don't also have uh -huh. to open our mouth. Um, the the wiggle back and forth just helps the lashes separate and. Um, in between, you know, the, the texture of the wand so that you can fully coat those lashes. Yes. Does that make sense? I hope that's helpful, Cheryl. Thank you for the question. Also, I have a little bit of mascara that just hit my eyelid. So what you wanna do is wait for it to dry and then pick it off. Because if we pick it off while it's wet, it's gonna go all over your eyelid and we have to start all over again. We're just gonna- Ariel, wait. giving you the hot tips. <laughs> Pascal says you should see the crazy face I did when Renee put it on my lashes. Facts. Facts. I did his makeup. He was very beautiful. <laughs> These pigments. I'm just taking heat. I just keep playing with this palette, but I'm taking heat and I am putting it on the high points as a highlighter. It's such a pretty right. highlighter. I'm telling you. Put I'm going to do that too. You're a trendsetter, Mario. <laughs> nice. If you even start from like, what is this part? What's this part called? This part of your eye, like the outer corner, and then you do like a little C, you'll just be glowing like Ooh. nonstop in that corner. Go in with one of my fingers. Do this, this C. So make sure you blend so it doesn't look like a C. Because <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, blend it out. You did. You did. Oh, that's my other favorite part to put highlight. Mm -hmm. It's I have like very V-shaped lips. And I know that I see a lot of the trends with like the overlining and they're doing it very round. Yes. I'm just, I'm still out here highlighting my Cupid's bow. Me too. Mm. I have a beautiful Cupid's bow. You look Maybe like that a V. Girl, by the way. <laughs> I'm just like glowing. I'm like, yeah, she, that's angel makeup right there. <laughs> so fun. Okay, and I'm going to go back with Sobe and I'm going to do it on my lips. Don't be nervous. It looks crazy first. Um, see, it's crazy. I am here for this. So Sobe, the brown matte natural shade, directly onto the lips. Mm -hmm. Plus, before we started, I put on Fortify just so it can- I was going to ask that. While I'm um, putting on my makeup, because sometimes we forget the lips and then it ends up getting dry. And by the time you put on product, it's a little too late to put on lip balm and then the product. Mm -hmm. So start with lip balm first while you're putting your base. So when you put on product, it won't be as drying. And then I'm going to take sizzle on top. 
And since it's my own palette, I can touch it all. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Oh, oh, my God. God. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Is anybody else's mind blown with this, please? Hold on, hold on. The same one. I'm just gonna. Uh, 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 uh. A couple dabs will do ya. Can you see that? It's like a nor, like a. Oh, yes. <laughs> here for it. And now we're done. Absolutely here for it. And now we can, oh. now we can oh. party. Now we can party. Now we're going to go rollerblading. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I want to make sure we got every, every uh, question. So if anybody has any questions that didn't get answered, now would be the time. Because um, I think we are good with our looks. Look, she, you like brought the hair down, gave it a little shake. You were like. Roller, roller skate. Through the summer, close your eyes so everyone could see your look. And then you tell them you only did it with two products. <laughs> yep. yep. I love this. This is great. So a couple of highlights just to make sure before we wrap up. Remember that these are limited edition. The Moments Collection. All of the links are in the live chat in Facebook. Everything we've talked about, not only the Moments Collection, but the Fortify, the Fiber Lush Mascara. Um, which has a two for, it's not necessarily two for one, but it's a pack of two. It's got a huge cost savings. Um, it's amazing. So check out those links that are being posted there. Limited editions. We have the four in one, sorry, <laughs> a four pack of the three in mm -hmm. one cream tints that we uh, both used variety of colors. That's what is swatched on my arm. And then we have the motives moments palette that Marielle swatched on her hand and used as well, the pressed pigments, um, limited edition. So while supplies last, uh, super versatile. I hope we showcase that today. Use them in a whole bunch of different ways. Can make a lot of looks with just this really rich pigments. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm, yeah. I'm, I know that they're limited edition, but I'm going to be using these for a while, as long as they'll last me. Cause I know that they're going to sell out. So hop on it if you haven't already buy it for a gift do your christmas shopping now yes <laughs> for stocking stuffers good christmas in july exactly be that good friend that gives christmas gifts in july <laughs> yeah we got graduation coming up we got fourth of july it's just it's just going to be a great <laughs> summer product so great any day at the beach the lake wherever you're at boardwalk you're gonna have a lot of fun um, okay, I don't think I saw any other questions come in, but I'll hang around and I'll make sure I hit up the comments afterwards. So if you're catching this in a recording, make sure to still go ahead and comment with your questions and we'll be around and keep monitoring it. But thank you everybody for tuning in today. Um, Marielle, is there any final closing thoughts? I just want to thank everybody, yes, for coming in and thank you for doing this with me, Renee. It's yes. so amazing. I love looking at all of your looks on socials. So it's really great to be able to do this, chat with you. And again, when you're putting on makeup, you don't have to just have a plan. Just play with it. Just enjoy it. I learned this all from her. So have a friend. Uh, go play with makeup and feel good about it. It's mood boosting. So thank you. Definitely. Yes, I'm going to wrap it up there. I don't think I could say anything better. But yeah, believe it or not, this is like one of our first times being able to interact face to face with each other. So it's just a, a great community building um, within Motives and being able to do this. So thank you, Motives, for having us both on. Um, yeah, and we'll look forward to seeing you all on the socials. We'll post those in the comments as well. Thank you. Bye.